Um, Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> I came down the elevator shaft and it's like, uh, that's not supposed to happen. It looks like this entire, like, chunk is gone. Or, well, maybe not the entire chunk, but... Well, yeah. Whoa, shit. Okay, there. Now, now it just loaded in. <laughs> no, it didn't. Oh, man, that's bizarre. That is bizarre. Look at that. So, yeah, it actually... I don't know. Is this multiple chunks? That would be, I guess, quote-unquote bedrock down there. Maybe? I don't know. Weird. All right, well, I guess it's time for me to... Uh, to relog. <laughs>back to Imperion Galactic Survival on Project Eden. This is Alpha 11.1.1. .1. I am an old guy gaming. This is also the Dead is Dead series and I'm still alive. Yes. Okay, so um, I'm bringing you back uh, not too long after I left you in the last episode because I'm, I'm making a couple changes here and I thought I would bring you back and uh, show you those changes. And also uh, just a couple of things real quick too before we actually get started in earnest here. Um, for those of you who don't know this, because I, I do mention this from time to time, um, but we've gotten some uh, some more subscribers lately, which is absolutely fantastic. Thank you guys very much uh, for subscribing to this channel. I super appreciate that uh, a whole bunch. Uh, so anyway, I, uh, I pre-record almost all of my episodes, uh, and usually I'm several days, if not several weeks, uh, ahead of you guys. Uh, right now, uh, in... On this particular series, I'm just a few days ahead of you guys, but I, I can get up to several weeks ahead, just depending upon, you know, how things happen. Uh, because what I have to do with with, way, with the way that my schedule works is I sit down uh, at, at, at scheduled periods of time where I sit down and I record several episodes back to back, and then I edit those and, and uh, upload them and schedule them. Uh, I don't record an episode usually on a normal basis uh one episode release it that same day or the next day and then record the next one and then release it the next day and so on and so forth so what that tends to do is it, it means that i'm way ahead of you guys and i don't see your comments um at, at the time that i'm recording the next video right so if you leave a comment on say episode five we'll say and you say hey old guy you uh, you missed something over here um and then I record episode six. Well, I'm not going to see that comment because, you know, I'm, I'm way in the future, right? Uh, I will eventually see the comment. And I do appreciate everybody's comments too, by the way. I do read all of those comments and I try and respond to, to damn near every one of them. Uh, so really super appreciate, you know, the comments that you guys do leave. Uh, but I just want you to know that, uh, you know, I don't, I don't see those usually till much later than the video that I, you know, that I recorded that it applies to. So just kind of keep that in mind, you know, so, so we all are on the same page in regards to that. Okay. Uh, the other thing, <clears throat> excuse me, the other thing too, that I want to mention is that let me know how you guys feel about, about building in the, in this game in terms of wanting, you know, me to, to show it to you. Uh, what I typically try and do is I try and show, you know, some of the building, but I don't show all of it just because for some people it can get a little bit monotonous, particularly for those of you who are more veterans of the game. Um, but, you know, just, you know, help me gauge how you guys as, you know, my audience on this channel, you know, feel about building. Do you guys want to see all of it? Do you want me to show you every single block that I place? Uh, do you prefer just to see a little bit of it or somewhere in between or not none at all? So just kind of give me some feedback on that. But remember, I'm not going to see these comments till uh, you know, several days later uh, from the time that you guys make them. So just keep that in mind too, okay? Uh, finally, I th think that's actually it. Uh, I, oh, I, I decided to go ahead and move all of this stuff out of the small vessel and just kind of store it here in the base until we need to take off back to the dead planet and that lightened up our ship considerably so we can go back to top speed. So I got that done too. And I think that's pretty much it. I decided to go ahead and expand the wall out on this side a little bit more because this is going to be the garden area. And um, I didn't have enough blocks to get three sections in side by side. So we're expanding this out one more. I don't know that I'm going to worry about that on this side, though, just because it just kind of really doesn't matter over here. Um, and that's pretty much where we are. I got a few blocks up 
uh, on the armored concrete, and we're still working on that. I just ran out of blocks, so I'm just waiting for the constructor to make more of those. And that's pretty much where we're at right now. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, this is going to be mostly a building episode. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and do that. And again, just let me know in the comments, guys, how you feel about building. I mean, I'm always going to show you some building, but it's just really, the question really is, do you want to see all of it or just some of it? That's really what it boils down to. Uh, so, you know, depending upon how you guys respond, um, you know, what the majority wants, that's what we'll go with. If I don't get any response at all, I'm just going to kind of keep showing some of it and not all of it, because that's typically what I would do anyways. And I think, you know, I think that question is going to be more applicable to those of you who are fairly new to the game and, you know, haven't seen all the ins and outs of it, as opposed to those of you who are, you know, more veterans of the game. We should probably convert... Uh, I got a ton of multi-charges and a fair amount of drill charges. Tell you what, let's do. Let's make, just for the hell of it, let's make, um, this is an output count of five. Let's make five more of those, and then I think I'm going to turn the rest of the Prometheum that we currently have into fuel, because we're going to need it. So let's just crank out, I mean, obviously we're not going to make a thousand, but we'll crank out the rest of that into fuel. And you're still, what are you doing? Oh, you're done. Okay. Um, let's continue to place our blocks, our uh, armored concrete blocks, and see if that's enough to, to finish out this part of the project here. So we'll do that next. I, I ended up just making 100 because I figured I'm going to need close to that to get all this done. We might... Is that going to let me place a block in there? It is. Okay, good. Sometimes if there's not enough material removed, it won't let you place the blocks. We still might run into that problem as we go up, but we'll see. So I don't really care what it looks like on the exterior. I just it's the interior that matters for this. And remember too, this is going this is going to be like the central support for the for the entire tower that we're going to build. See, this one might not go in there. Oh, it is. Wow. Okay. That's surprising. And of course, we're using armored concrete because it's stronger and can hold more weight. I did a build kind of conceptually similar to this on uh, our multiplayer server a couple, mm, I'd say about a year and a half ago maybe now. And I, I had, had built, originally had built it out of just normal concrete and we were having a lot of SI problems with it. And so converting the base to armored concrete made a big difference in terms of, um, you know, uh, SI and support of the building and all that sort of thing. Oh, look at that. <laughs> One block shy. Oh my goodness. Okay, not a, not a problem. We can make more of those. That's hilarious, though. Isn't that the way it works, though? Goodness gracious. Okay. So we'll probably end up putting, you know, for now anyways, we'll put a little hatch on here so we can't get Spidey's falling on our head. I don't know if they can actually move down through an elevator or not, though. My guess is they probably couldn't, but I don't know. I'm not, I'm not for sure. And then we'll we'll also kind of fix this up with some some ramps. In fact, we could do that that part just with normal uh, normal concrete. So if we go with this piece here and we're going to that piece there's going to still have to be armored concrete. So we'll have to make another one. All right, that's not looking too bad. And then uh, in the corner, what would that actually look like? Oh, yeah, that, that actually works. Might not let us put that well, will it? Oh, wow, okay. I guess it will. I figured there'd be too much dirt there. Oh, 
All right, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. So we'll have to make um, we'll have to make a another reinforced concrete block to finish that one out. Because remember, that's a support block now for the tower that we're eventually going to build. And I suppose if we wanted to, we could also probably this piece is what we would need here. No, that's not the right piece. Um, is it that one? No, it's not that one. Hmm. I would have. I thought it would have been this one, but I guess it isn't. Well, you know what? It's not that big of a deal. Let's just uh, let's finish out the ramp on this side. I gotta figure out which direction this is going now. My ship gonna be in the way? Yeah. Okay. We'll have to come up here and move the ship. Cause I'm in the drone right now, of course, so it won't let us put those there. It see, man, it sure seems to me like this should be the block that would go there. Am I just not doing it in the right direction? Oh, I see what's going on. It's a different angle. Okay. Let's see. We need to make uh, one more armored concrete block, so let's do that. And uh, while that's cooking up, let's go up top side here and move the ship over just a little bit so that we can finish out that that ramp piece. I'm probably not going to make a docking pad for the ship um, down on the ground here. Well, actually, you know what? No, nah, probably not, because I want to actually dock the ship on, on top of the tower. Um, so, yeah, we'll do that later. One thing we do need to do, though, is I made a uh, I made a couple water jennies, so we're going to. Why can't I pick that? What the hell? That's weird. Um, can I pick this? Yeah. What about this? That was really strange. Why that was buried in the ground? This one's bugged though. Huh. What if I had to do with the, the chunk messing up earlier? Anyway, um, yeah, we're gonna have to go set some water generators down. This block should be finished now. Okay, good. So we got the base of that done. Looks like our dude's getting hungry. Let's just bring that down a little further. And I'm keeping, uh, I'm actually keeping the ship completely turned off now because I think, yeah, those will be okay. I mean, they will eventually perish, but, um, unless they change this in Alpha 11, drones will not shoot at a ship that's not powered up. Um, if they did change that, let me know if you guys happen to know that for sure. Otherwise, we're going to have to find out the hard way, but... As far as I know, that's still still the case. So, all right, what direction is this thing going? Come on, get up where I can see you, man. Get up where I can see you. There you go. So we want to flip you this way and this way. There we go. All right, I'm sure there's a corner piece that fits in here. Um, corner small C, corner small A. Could be this one. Because the problem we were having before was the angle wasn't right. Oh, no, that's that's too big. Um, corner small A. Corner small C is the one we were using before. Hmm. What about B? Nope. How about half a three? Oh no, that's too big. Hmm. 
Corner small C, medium low. Corner small C, medium. Corner small C. Okay, let's try this medium one. Nope. <laughs> okay, well, what about, okay, what about this one? Oh, well, that could be it. We need to, we need to flip it around like this and like this. No, that's not it either. Uh, ramp connector E, ramp connector F. I have a feeling like it's maybe one of these. It's just a matter of getting it going the right direction. Oh no, that's kind of rounded off though, isn't it? No, I don't think so. I think these are for, you know, larger portions of the ramp. Well, maybe there isn't a piece that fits in there. I'm not sure. You know what, though? I'm not going to waste any more time worrying about it. It's not that big a deal, honestly. I mean, who cares, right? <laughs> My OCD cares a little bit, but not to the point where I'm going to spend any more time working on it or messing with it right now. Okay, so let's see. We want to... Well, we need to get something to eat. Here, let's actually eat some of those. <sighs> And then we're going to, let's grab um, the uh, two water generators, which should be here. We'll put those in the Stingray's inventory. And we're going to need some fuel for that too. I think I want to, I'm going to save the biofuel for the chainsaw because we don't have a hover vessel here. Uh, I have to decide too if, if I want to bring the hover vessel back here from the other planet or just rebuild a new one um haven't decided that yet we'll, we'll kind of have to see how our weight is when we come back you know for the next trip uh, those are 600 kilograms okay so d boy didn't i am i not making promethium okay hold on we got to go back down Thought I'd queued up a bunch of promo, but I'm not seeing, it doesn't look like it's being made. Unless it is, and I just caught it right in between. Yeah, okay, you're making Promethium. So, yeah, let's take, let's take 40. And we'll put 20 in each water generator. Get our food topped off. We can disconnect from there. Make a couple more steaks for next time. All right, let's go. Uh, how are you doing, by the way, on making, making water for us? Yeah, we should, uh, we should probably keep this going, too. So let's fill the top row up with promos. And I guess we'll take these, too. We need the water right now. We need it to make uh, seeds and stuff. So, uh, all right, let's go here and here. So it's nutrient solution that we're missing. <clears throat> so that means stone dust. That means stone dust. That's what that means. Okay, so let's make a stack of stone dust in here. And then we want to pull out seven more of that so we can do the 40. Okay, and we'll put this over in the refrigerator. And now we should be able to make seeds. So let's keep working on spice. What's this? Coffee? Uh, Ahax, aloe vera. 
Let's do a couple sweeteners and then a bunch more spices for now. Maybe a couple more aloes too. Okay. All right, are we ready to go now? I think so. I think we're ready to go. We need to go find the nearest water. Ah, nice. Now we're back to max speed. Now we're back to max speed. All right, so the nearest water looks like it's probably directly north of us. Yeah, I think that's where, where we want to go. So it kind of sucks that we don't have water right next to the base, but you can't have everything, I suppose. Not a big deal. So we're going to use swamp water. Oh, there's one of those tellerpod du dudes. I'll have to kill him. Where'd he go? He must have gone under the water. Oh, there he is. I don't want him sneaking up on us. It's a level eight. Where are you, Ming? I hear him. Alright, we better get the shoddy out now. We're we're at close range. The hell did he go? Oh, there he is. He's way over there. Come at me, bro. Ooh, this is a little precarious being in this tall grass, though. Let's get over here where we can see what the hell's going on. Here he is. Alright. Hey, we got a little bit of wood out of the deal, too. How about that? Alright. Milk and three pieces of meat. Those guys are definitely worth hunting. We'll put this in a fridge, which we need to turn the ship back on if we want the fridge to actually refrigerate. So let's turn those off. Player and fridge. Okay. Now, uh, let's just set both of these water jennies down. Like that. And then we'll fill that guy up and fill that guy up. Okay. Very good. So we got some water production going. What's this? Corn dogs. Tis raining. Pick a couple of these plants whilst we're here. This is confetti moss, I think. Don't really need this iron, but let's grab it anyway, because it's right here. That mission is accomplished. Let's head on back to the base and keep keep working. A 
I don't think we need to bookmark that because we'll be able to see the icon on the map. We need to turn south more. Yeah, other than, other than the turning, the ship doesn't fly bad at all when, when it's not overloaded. But like I mentioned in the last episode, we are we are kind of trying to have it fulfill multiple roles, at least for now, until we get established enough to where we can have different vessels for specific roles. And that that time will come soon. Just not right this right this moment. Okay, so let's kill the power entirely. And we'll pull all the stuff out of there and take it down to the base. I think the next thing I'm gonna do is make a couple hatches. And then we'll start working on um, on the garden here. So now let me explain something too. Uh, the idea behind putting the core out here, okay? is that we're going to, I'm going to seal off the base. Well, we're going to put a door here. It's very unlikely that the Xerax, when they take over the base, are going to come down here in person. I have not really seen them do that. I suppose it is possible, but it's probably not likely, particularly once the base is actually finished and we have the tower up above and whatnot. <clears throat> so if they hack our core... You know, then we just come through our, our back door tunnel here. We blow up the, the core that's now theirs and just place a new core down. So that's kind of the, the concept behind behind this little setup in here. And I got a, I got a little bit more work to do in here to get it all completely set up, but that's, that's the general idea. Okay, so let's pull the... We want to connect to the base fridge and the stingray... Uh, Oh, I guess I put that stuff in there, didn't I? Those can go in there. <clears throat> I mean, I, I should probably take these out and put them in here, but if I do that, I'm going to forget. We've got so many protein bars right now that if we if the stack goes bad, it's not the end of the world, and we can actually use the spoiled food anyways. So, yeah, let's not worry about that. Okay. Put all this stuff back in here for now. Okay, um, am I forgetting something? Probably. I have a feeling like I'm forgetting something. That doesn't go in there. And that doesn't go in there. That's not probably not what I was forgetting, but nonetheless, those things don't go in there. <laughs> okay. I'm just kind of... You know, looking at and seeing how many components we have, we're kind of low on motors. Uh, we don't have enough flux coils to upgrade one of these to an advance, but we do have more back on the dead planet. Okay, so let's put those in there. Chow down on some more meat here. So we got 12 spices, that's good. We need... Um, we've, we've got some veggie sprouts to get started with there, so I'm not too worried about that. But what we need are sprouts. Uh, herbal leaves. Boy, I, th I thought I picked some sprouts, but apparently I didn't. So we need to go find some sprouts. Because we, we need fruit, we need sprouts. Um, yeah, oh yeah, we don't have fruit either, do we? Okay, so we need, we need to go find some akua berries. There's a bunch of akua berries on this planet. But that doesn't give us fruit, does it? What do we need for fruit? Okay, hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. To make fruit, we need space oranges. Or where's the pear things? Corn, blue pepper, pumpkin, tomato, wheat, pear, pear thing. Yeah, we're going to have to come up with fruit. I don't think I've actually seen any fruit on this planet. 
Hmm. That's going to be interesting. Okay. Can we synthetically make fruit? Here? No, not there. Here. I don't think so. Okay, so, yeah, we got to be on the lookout for fruit, and we have to be on the lookout for buds. Buds aren't will not be hard. We can find those in the flower biome, but the fruit's another story. So, yeah. Because the only... There's only two, right? Two types of fruit in the game now. The, the space oranges and the pear things, I think. I think that's all we got, yeah. All right, well, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure that out. Um, now... Let's, uh, let's keep working here on the, uh, garden. So, what I want to do is I want to make some plots, and to do that, we're going to need more nutrient solution. We should have a bunch more stone dust that we made up in here. Let's transfer that to the fridge, because that's where all the other stuff is. Oh, there goes the timer. And then let's queue up, um... I guess, yeah, 20 of those. And I think we can make crop plots, right? Yeah, we can, we can, we have the, the skills to make them is what I mean. We just need the nutrient solutions. Well, I wonder, I wonder if, what should we do? We could probably finish out the building of the of our, our room here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that now. So, um, connect to the base general. And put those guys down there. Oh, we were going to make some, some hatches too, weren't we? That's right. So you make a, a manual door, automatic door. We must not know how to make um, armored doors yet. So that's going to be, I think, a base item. Yeah, armored doors. There we go. We have 74 points. So, da, 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 da. just looking to see what it requires. Yeah, let's make three of those. We're going to make one for up above and then one for each side over here. Now, uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so our wall needs to actually start here. And let's bring that actually up, whoop, uh, to there, okay. And then this is gonna, Go here, like so. Now, the other thing we need to look at, though, is one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, good. So we'll be able to do uh, two horizontal rows and three, well, three this way and two this way. And I'm talking about entire plots, you know, uh, three by three plots. If that wasn't obvious. Okay. Bring all of this over here. We should have plenty of blocks to finish this out. Okay. Um, I'm, it, this is just going to be a two block high room, but if and when we uh, decide to employ a furnace, what I might do is punch a hole uh, through here and, you know, stick the furnace in there with enough clearance for us to set it down. So let's put the ceiling in place there. Come on, man. Come on, Mang. There we go.
and then just right over here. All right. The basic chamber is finished. Yes. So we'll put what we'll do here is we'll put uh, glass panes all across here, uh, looking into the uh, farm area. Let's get our doors. And we'll put the one up top side first. All right. So let's see. What style do we want? Oh, wow. Check these out. Round armor doors. Those are new. I haven't, I haven't even, I haven't even noticed those yet. And corner, corner doors. Ah, oh, neat. I love it. That's awesome. I'd kind of like to use, you know, like this door, but the problem is it's got this little flange at the bottom, so, you know, it's, it doesn't really work very well. So let's just go with, I don't know, it doesn't really matter, I suppose. Uh, full glass. Yeah, let's just go with this one. Um, I want it to go... No, no, no. Just like that. Okay. And then if we wanted to get really fancy schmancy, we could do this. Actually, you know what? No, there's no point in doing this because we're going to be putting more blocks on top of here when we start building the tower so yeah let's not bother let's not bother with this okay looking good man looking good okay we'll put these doors in down here as well so let's go here and here I think I want to do it that way, except for that's the right door. That's the left door. Hmm. So the thing is, is if I turn this around, oh yeah, no. So we want this door. There we go. That works. That works. All right, I want to clear this out a little bit more here. And let's lay down another path this way. All right, that's looking good. That's looking pretty good. Can we fill that in too, just so it's not looking janky there? I don't think we're going to be able to fill this part in. Maybe we can. We just get just the right angle here. button. I'm liking it, guys. I'm liking it. I think it's looking good. I might reposition those um, somewhere else, like maybe down here. Um, let's do a little squirt of this in here. Okay, and then if we 
try and flatten it. Oh shit, I didn't want it to take that much out. You stupid game. <laughs> Uh, wow. That, that's like a big cavity there. I mean, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day, but it wasn't what I had in mind. Okay, so let's pull all of this out. Um, we're going to have to connect to... Oh, we are connected to there. Okay. And we'll pick you up and we'll stick you over here. No, not you. Where'd you go? There you are. And then we'll stick the condenser uh, right next to it. Yeah, we're going to lose some stuff, but doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. The condenser is almost really not something we even really need anymore. But I'm going to keep one going just because, you know, we do need the portable oxygens for when we start going up into space and whatnot. Did I just say oxygens? Grammar, old guy. Grammar. Okay, so we'll keep that guy there. Um, all right. This I'd like to kind of... See if we can kind of smooth that up a little bit. So let's do a fine drill. I know I can put a a ramp block there if I if I need to, but let's just try this first. Make it a little more gradual. See that works. This is just a backdoor access. It's a hidden a hidden chamber, so it doesn't have to be really fancy schmancy anyways. Theoretically, you know, critters and enemies could get through here, but they I I don't see that happening in this game. It just isn't isn't gonna happen. If it does, I'll be really, really surprised. Okay. Now we want to what we want to do out here is we want to put a container out here with some explosives in it and probably some backup weapons so that we can blow the core if the enemy takes it over and then put it in, you know, uh, what am I trying to say? Put our own core back down. So let's go ahead and make another container. And we have, we already have some cores in the... Stingray. So we'll grab a core. Well, let's let's actually grab a couple, and we'll grab a thing of explosives as well. We should have a backup weapon. So let's make a let's make a pulse rifle. And we'll make a little bit of ammo for that pulse rifle. You know what? Let's make a shoddy too. Oh my goodness, I don't need that many. Let's do uh, like a couple. And we'll stick those in that uh, that backup container. which we will stick over in this corner so we're not, you know, I guess there's a possibility we could blow those up when we blow the enemy's core, but, you know, if we do, we'll just make another one. That's not a big deal. I should have probably put those over here. I still could put those over here, I suppose. Um, okay, well, here, let's just do this part first.
Okay, so spare cores. Sp explosives to blow the core. And then... Backup weapon. Wait, where did I just put those? Oh, I put them in the... In the uh, small vessel. Let's connect to here. Good grief. Now what the hell did I do with it? <laughs> oh, it's back in here. Ah, oh, geez Louise. Okay. I'm losing my mind. Oh, uh, you know what? We need to make actually quite a bit more of projectile ammo. Because uh, we need some for our own inventory. We're getting low on that stuff. All right, guys. Well, I think that's uh, it for this episode. So we've got our our emergency room uh, set up, and we should be able to recover our base if it gets hacked. That's the most likely scenario because at least the way that it is right now, unless the Xerox are smart enough to try and blow our hatch and come down here in person, um you know, to destroy the core, which I would be really surprised if they if they actually did that. I don't think their AI is that smart. So more than likely what they're going to try and do instead is hack the core. And if they do, you know, then we just come in through the back door, blow up their core, and retake our base. And then we'll probably have a couple enemies that we'll have to uh, mop up to. But anyway, uh, that's it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share out the video. And we'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.